So we'll begin answering this question by drawing a quick diagram. And this is what a typical mirror diagram looks like. So you have the mirror and this red line that I have here is the principal axis. So the question stated that the tooth, which is the object in this case, is one centimeter in front of the mirror. So I have it drawn on the left side over here. And the image of the tooth is formed 10 centimeters behind the mirror. So Q is going to be on the right side of this mirror. So this is going to have a negative value. So this is going to be negative 10 centimeters. And this is because the image is a virtual image because it's formed behind the mirror. We're dealing with a convex mirror here. If it were concave, the image would actually form over on the left side over here. So we'll apply the mirror equation so that we can go ahead and solve for the radius of curvature. And be careful that you'll need to use the negative value here. So if you're having trouble solving this question, it may be because you're using the wrong sign convention. You'll get a radius of curvature to be 2.22 centimeters. For part B, we're going to use the magnification equation, which is negative Q over P. We'll plug in the values and we'll get a magnification of 10. And as you can see, this diagram is not drawn to scale. So hope that helps.